I'm cattle class. I cannot do it, and for very good reason. Some people, though, have to. Uh, and one woman has tips on how to do it is Annabelle White, food and travel writer. Annabelle, good morning. Good morning, Paul. You are certainly not qualified to do this segment at all. Do you know what? You walk in here with yes. a, a blooming yes. rucksack and a, and a, rucksack, a whole pile of paraphernalia. Yes, absolutely. And I think that's why I can't do cattle class, because I'll be sitting next to someone like you with all that rubbish. No, but you have to get into the right mindset if you're doing cattle class. You do your research. Okay. You make sure you find out where's the best seat in economy. For example, row 20 is quite good in economy because you get, uh, if you, especially on the aisle, because you can get a um, nice little bit of extra egg leg room. Okay, so first of all, what we're talking about here is long haul in economy because anyone, mm-hmm. it, I still wouldn't do it, but anyone oh, can on. do short haul in, eco- haul in economy. It's so hard for so many people. I mean, you're talking about rates increases. How can you justify spending an extra seven, dollars $8,000 to get up to business premier? I tell you, you why. I tell you why. Because, because... Economy travel in a plane is legal torture. No, that is what no. it is. No, you need the right strategy. Paul Henry, listen to me. Yes. I'm going to give you the tips. First of all, okay. Tip on, number one. First of all, no, no. I'm going to give you the tip. You've got to research your flights and make sure that you get the best possible carrier. Because some carriers, for example, economy are fine. I'll give you an example. Singapore Airlines in economy, you could argue, is actually better than some other more premium. Sure, products. I wouldn't risk it. Okay. So, so I will answer your one. first one by saying you fly Air New Zealand. Good, absolutely. Best economy around. Absolutely. So that's the first one. Fly Air New Zealand. Now right. get to the airport early. They yeah. often allocate better seats when yes. you get to the airport early. And you can explain that you're travelling with a six foot six giant or you've got Tourette syndrome and you know you need to have more space for your, you know, where you're going to sit. How about, and you've got to be careful with this strategy, hyperventilating and possibly actually throwing up at check-in. Is that, <laughs> you've got to be careful because it's a fine line between upgrading yes, you and yes. kicking you off. Exactly. If you did either of those things, Paul Henry, actually even if you mentioned your name at check-in, the chance are you'd be offloaded off the plane. Yep. So now the next thing you need to do is you need to be prepared. Now this is Absolutely Hang on, I'm critical. trying to follow these. So number one is go with the right carrier yes. in New Zealand. Yes. Number two is get to the airport early. Yes, get to the airport early. Ideally, if you've got a good relationship with your travel agent or you book online, you can identify the best seats. Now, it's worth paying a little bit of extra yes. to book the, the right seat, which Correct. you can do when you're checking in. And I absolutely argue, and I know, now I'm, I know I'm upsetting everybody, but I argue for the aisle seat because the World Health Organization has said that one person in every 4,500 travellers is going to get clots. So you've got to be sensible about this. I know we're joking around, but you do need to move around. You need to keep hydrated and you must, I think, really important to carry. And I've got in my hand here some bio tears. These things are really important. You need to put eye drops bio in. Bio tears. Yes, because you dehydrate in your yes, eyes. You do. actually, I don't actually. I fill up dehydrate. with alcohol. Oh, well, well, you shouldn't do that because then you're dehydrating as well. Not only are you uh. a mess, you're dehydrating. Now, the next thing you need is strategy. Now, Paul, this is really important. Wear black. I agree mm- with you on aisle seat, by the way, because yes. I mean, even although you're going to be pestered by that hideous person with bladder control problems next to you, at least you don't have to sit there thinking, oh, I don't want to bother this but person. Do you know what, Paul? I've found an economy. The people that are sitting around you in an economy, I've actually found them to be extremely pleasant. Are they what, even people? I don't know. What you don't want is, Bill Bryson once said he went on a plane and he sat beside a man who turned to him and said, isn't it amazing? What do we do before orange juice? I mean, you wouldn't want to sit beside that guy for eight hours. But here's a strategy, Paul. You're going to love this. We've it's got so 30 practical. seconds. Okay, you need a backpack. You need to have this, and you've got this on the back, and you have the fragile what sticker is it? there. What is it? Fragile got, on a backpack? A fragile on the back of the backpack, and you've got one of these absolutely air cushions. Air cushion things. And you take a water bottle, but no water in it. You have it on the side. And you have to get into that kind of Rambo strategy. You've got to think, I'm going on the long haul. You've got to get into that mindfulness. You're thinking about your happy place, but you're saving money. So what I tend to do is put the Richard Simmons headband on, and I have a couple of eye masks. Give that to the person next door to you, and tell them to put that on. Then get the facial spray. These are in New Zealand eye masks. You've stolen come these. Come close, darling. Come close. So, there's the facial spray. A little bit of facial spray, which hydrates. Then you have the earplugs. Then you have your compression socks. And then I also believe it's quite good because I often get into the emergency. A whistle? A whistle. That's a really good idea. You will be arrested blowing a whistle on a a plane. It's not a weapon. And then you need to have the voice, you need to have these things. Some people say go on a plane and have a copy of War and Peace. But I say get the headphones on, these things here. Look, the absolute, get the headphones on. Good headphones. And I often wear dark glasses or the eye mask. Good. And you literally, people will keep away from you. Annabelle, but stop talking. Stop. Stop talking. No, stop talking. Pretend. (laughs) Pretend you're no longer on air, because you're not. Um, All right, Annabelle's going to come in with more tips. I I think what you've just shown me, Annabelle, is absolutely why it's worth paying a little bit of extra and getting into another class. Um, It's uh, eight and a half minutes away from nine.